Uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone and good morning from my side. Uh, hoping that all going well. It's been a tough period for everyone and uh, knowingly that England uh, uh, went through difficult times. So hoping that situation is good now there and uh, you are all safe and good to go for cricket. Uh, regarding this tour, I think uh, we are confident and optimistic as a team that uh, we, we can do well despite being away from uh, cricket since March as the guys are eager to just come back uh, on the cricket field. Uh, England is always a good player, uh, place for Pakistan uh, for uh, cricket. Uh, I mean, we we had some very good memories. I mean, if I just recall uh, the series in 2016, uh, we played really well in the Test series, and then obviously win of ICC Champions Trophy in the limited overs, and then even in 2018, one-one draw uh, was something that is encouraging for Pakistan. And most of these Pakistani players already played in England. Uh, even in the World Cup, I think we just missed out by small margin, but overall, I think we did well uh, in the last games, last three, four games. So, we, we had very good memories and uh, always feel confident when uh, we travel to England. Uh, in terms of overall uh, situation, I think uh, as a cricketer, I know that when you are away from game, for a little bit longer, you're always eager to just get back on the field, looking forward because you're hungry and uh, you want to really just uh, go back and uh, play cricket because you miss cricket when, when you're not playing it for such a long time. So players are already showing their eagerness, their hunger, and even in the quarantine times, restrictions, some of them are. Uh, individually practicing, even ignoring, uh, which is which was a little bit alarming for us, ignoring the uh, some of the instructions from government to stay home. But that shows that how you get there to just get back on the field. Uh, overall, if we look at our sports staff, I mean, uh, Yunus Khan coming back, Mushtaq Ahmed, and then Lakar Yunus, I think that adds uh, really uh, a big value to to be in the dressing room to help these these guys to motivate them mentally and tell them uh, and help them to improve and perform, especially in England conditions, because they they all had a, a worse experience of playing there. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, approximately say, 10 weeks tour and uh, most of the time we, we will be just involved in red ball cricket uh, and we are we are going to play three T20s at the back end of, back end of the uh, tour but uh, overall because um, we are more involved with the red ball that's why I think that shows even in our selection that we have more cushion for the red ball uh, because these matches are very crucial in terms of the ICC championship. So, we are taking it really serious. In terms of our squads, uh, some exciting plays. In terms of our batting also, in terms of bowling, some youngsters with good pace. Heather Ali, a uh, guy from under-19, emerged as a very good player. Performed well at under-19 level and then uh, performed really well in the first class season of 2019. Uh, and then uh, also uh, played some good innings for Pakistan emerging team in Bangladesh. Went very well with the PSO, showed his class. Uh, so looking forward and some of very, very, uh, uh, you could say, uh, uh, emerging emerging and exciting fastballs in terms of 
Hasnan, Haris Rove, and Nasim Shah. Sohail Khan uh, coming back in the squad just to give us a little bit of cushion. Uh, you all know his performance in the previous tour in 2016. They had two test matches and uh, got two fivers. So uh, we, we, we had him uh, give us a little bit more option for the red ball. Uh, I think uh, after starting a little bit, a little bit, uh, you could say, uh, uh, with with uh, Sri Lanka and then in Australia, losing a uh, couple of series, I think we started playing really well uh, in the last uh, three home tests. Overall, the side just performed well. Our batting well, uh, go, went really well. Uh, Barbara Zangomoyes is a very, very good player and uh, the performance by Abed Ali and Shan Masood, Azir coming back in form, Asi Chippi performing and then the youngsters, Shaheen and Nassim performing really well. We, we are confident. We are confident that uh, uh, it's a very good team and uh, we, we can do really well in England. Uh, obviously, uh, every Every series, every match is uh, different from the previous one. Challenge is different, especially with the COVID-19. Uh, it could uh, slightly more difficult for the players and for us because of uh, everything. But this is how we have to go in life. Sometimes we, we have to just uh, make adjustments. And uh, professionals, I think, uh, adjust to these conditions, situations quickly. And uh, if you can do that, I think there is enough chances to perform well. I think uh, um, we, we are having, at the moment, complete confidence in the SOPs the ECB has put together for the series. Uh, feel sad for the fans that they won't be able to just come and watch the games and it could be different for the players also, but uh, at least, at least cricket is going to start. That's a big plus for the fans. They can just watch uh, the matches on TV, and uh, obviously, some of the just uh, some of frustration just goes. At least we had something. They had something to just watch on the TV. Uh, I think uh, fans are always the biggest stakeholders of the game, and obviously, everything is. Uh, everything on the field is because of them uh, and you get the atmosphere and everything but this is how life is for some for, for some time but I don't know for how long but at least we are starting cricket uh, and uh, we are hoping that uh, we uh, might be arriving in England by July uh, 1st or maybe in the first week uh, and uh, we are hoping that we, we just we can quickly hit the ground running and cover up for the lost time. It is going to be a challenge for us, but the way boys are eager, I think uh, if we utilize the time properly, we can just get ready for the series. Uh, I think uh, ECB and PCB are finalizing the travel and tour arrangements, and we hope. To hear more at some time, uh, I think we we are happy as Pakistan Cricket Board and Pakistan Cricket Team. Uh, we believe in resumption of cricket on the condition uh, that the environment must be safe and secure for players, officials, spectators, and media, and that is I think uh, very important for everybody. Safety of uh, everyone's life is important, uh, so. That's why we did not hold a camp in Lahore because the situation was really uh, getting worse here. And we thought that uh, securing our players, uh, their safety, their health is important. So we should just hold on and start it uh, in England where the situation is getting better and better. Uh, uh, I think uh, Pakistan. Uh, is visiting England after the PCB was convinced that the ECB will ensure 
health and safety of the players and obviously we are satisfied with that so we just made the decision that we are uh, coming for this uh, series and hopefully everything will go uh, safely according to the plans uh, obviously we'll keep a w uh, watch on how the West Indies tour pans out uh, everybody will be looking uh, for that series, the fans and both the teams, Pakistan teams. Hopefully it will go well. Uh, I think it's important for the uh, cricket boards and uh, cricket authorities that cricket uh, at least uh, starts now and it will definitely generate uh, uh, revenue uh, and that will definitely be reinvested into cricket if we don't play obviously we will be in trouble and uh, for the development of this game uh, international cricket has to take place otherwise i think it will be difficult for smaller and weaker cricket nations uh, to just go further in this game and it's important for us to also, for England and for all other bigger, bigger teams that in Trashy Cricket just be revised now. Uh, uh, I think on Asia Cup and ICC T20 World Cup after, after that, uh, this series will go a long way. And let's see how we progress in this series and how we just uh, go. Mm, I think. Uh, this is all from my side uh, about this tour and uh, now uh, I'm ready for the questions. If you guys have any queries about that, uh, I'm here to answer all the questions. Thank you. Oh, Miss Barr, thank you for that. Just to, uh, a quick one, you've got 29 players in the squad who've agreed to come. As far as I can tell, just, just Harris, uh, Sohail, has declined to come to, on the tour for reasons of concern over uh, coronavirus. Can you tell us a little bit about Harris's personal decision, why he felt he couldn't come? And if there were any other people selected who were concerned, who, who have been persuaded to come? I think uh, on Harris' case, uh, it was purely... Uh, all about his family concerns and uh, it wasn't mainly Harris but it was it was uh, Harris family they they were having concerns just to to England so that's why they were not convinced uh, and that's why he has to respect the family's decision and he just pulled out of this uh, series uh, except Harris I think Others are fine and uh, they're ready to just tour England. They're satisfied um, with all the SOPs and everything. And they know that West Indies is going to play. And uh, obviously, they're, they're getting the information from England. Most of them have relatives and friends there. The, the situation is improving. And obviously, they're ready to, uh, they're much more satisfied with that. And they are. Uh, ready to tour. They have no concerns. Hi, Asalaamu Alaikum, uh, Ms. Babhai. Um, you know, this uh, this uh, tour is happening at a very difficult time, uh, as, as you just stated. Um, is there a hope in, in your mind that uh, the, the ECB will will support Pakistan by coming back or coming to England at a, at a later point, uh, you know, I, I suppose in a way to, to, to help us out as well? Is, is there a hope in your head? Look, uh, at the moment, we are thinking, ECB is just thinking about uh, uh, restart of cricket, international cricket. That is very important for us. Uh, I mean, it is not in our minds that we are coming uh, in keeping in view something that uh, ECB has to do for us in, in return of that. I think it's important for us to just... Uh, uh, somewhere restart international cricket, uh, get back, get the players back on the ground. That is the most important thing at the moment. Uh, but obviously, 
in a bigger picture you always we are not just uh, expecting anything in return but overall we want not only ecb but other nations also crediting uh, nations to help each other and uh, obviously tour um, countries and play cricket so uh, this game can grow and obviously it's important for the cricket fans in pakistan and also uh, uh, pakistan cricket that teams just start touring pakistan hello miss well if i was going to ask you the same question about whether you felt that the england touring pakistan in the near future so uh, alternatively can i ask you whether you think you're at a disadvantage because pakistan haven't played since march but england would have played three test matches in a biosecure environment behind closed doors. So there will be sort of three test matches ahead of you. Will that put you at a disadvantage, do you think? Yeah, if you look at overall, it, uh, it is a little bit of disadvantage. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, if we arrive at least four weeks before and we could just get the time, almost a month for preparation and uh, uh, made use of that month properly, four weeks. That's why we are just bringing 29 players and mostly uh, these players uh, are for the longer version. So the mindset is that we just come, start practicing and then had at least good match practice before these test matches. And uh, um, obviously, uh, get ready for the test matches. Slight disadvantage, you could say, uh, but I think if we just make use of that month properly, we can still be ready for the test series. And do you think it'll be difficult to for the players to lift themselves with no spectators in the ground? Um, yeah, it's 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 always difficult because. You need atmosphere. You 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 love that. As international player, uh, sometimes you you need energy. Sometimes you need some backing. When when uh, it's 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 always good to just uh, play in front of a crowd because uh, you miss that atmosphere. Uh, obviously, when there is no one, because nobody just understands it better than us because. Uh, uh, we played much more cricket than any other team in the world uh, with empty stadiums in UAE. So sometimes uh, it's really difficult for the players to motivate themselves. But obviously, in a bigger picture, uh, if we, we want to resume international cricket, we have to start it from somewhere. And uh, obviously, health, and uh, safety uh, of every human is more important and this is how uh, we have to proceed at the moment and then see in future hopefully hopefully we just get rid of these sort of situations quickly and then spectators just get back uh, on the cricket fields. Hello Ms. Barr. Um, uh, John just asked the question I was going to ask about behind closed doors cricket um, but I will ask you a about, about Yazir Shah, Could you, he was a big, big factor in the 2016 series here. How is he going at the moment? Look, uh, I mean, it's really difficult for me to exactly uh, tell uh, where the players are at the moment because, uh, you know, from the March, uh, everybody's at their own and uh, Obviously, we are having online sessions with them. We are having information from them, what they are doing, how they are training. But uh, we don't have any, uh, you could say, evidence of that because we are not practicing together. We are not playing together. And hopefully, hopefully, he'll be doing okay. But uh, obviously, when we just come to England, when we start training, I think that is the most crucial time for us. Uh, Mushi uh, is there. So I think everybody needs to work really hard in those four weeks, especially Yasir Shah, because spinners uh, need to bowl a lot 
to just get back into rhythm, especially the leg spinners. Uh, it will be a challenge for us and Yasser also uh, to get back uh, into his uh, form and into his best, uh, I think, he needs to do really, really, uh, and he, he needs to work very hard, especially in the coming four weeks. Hello, Ms. Bart. Could you tell us a bit about Haider Ali, a new player? We always like to see new cricketers coming along. What kind of batsman is he? I think uh, Haider is a uh, good, young, promising uh, batsman. Uh, the best thing about him is he just came from a system, performed really well at under 19 level. And they, uh, it is always a problem when you just come from under 19, when you just come on to scene of uh, first class cricket or your domestic cricket, you always take time to start performing. But the quality of Heather is that he just came into in, uh, first class cricket. With red ball, he performed really well, um, had a very good average and uh, scored heavily in the domestic uh, season. And, and in one-day cricket, he went uh, with the Pakistan emerging team in Bangladesh, got 100 there. Uh, and then he got a chance in T20 cricket and everybody was thinking that he's a good red ball cricketer, he's a good longer version white ball Cricketer, let's see how he performs. And but everybody thought that he might not be good with T20. But in PSL, the way he just came out, the way he batted, uh, the kind of shots he played against some of the top bowlers showed his class. And I think uh, he emerged as an overall cricketer in all formats. So we thought it's a bit best time. Uh, to invest in this youngster and especially coming to England and having a two month preparation period before uh, have, have a very good chance to play some of the very good bowlers in our side also in the side matches that could uh, really help him to develop as a cricketer. So looking forward, uh, especially we, I am very confident, I am uh, really looking forward uh, uh, how he just goes in international cricket. Hi, uh, Ms. Bhai. Uh, thank you very much for taking my one question. Uh, just two things. Uh, one, uh, we just learned that uh, Shahid Afridi has been uh, tested uh, COVID positive. Uh, if you have any message for, of, uh, for him, please. And, and the second one is about uh, Naseem Shah. I wanted to uh, hear from you what uh, your ideas are about how 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 Naseem Shah will be an effective weapon for Pakistan uh, in this test series? Yeah, firstly about Shahid, I think uh, mm, my prayers are with him. All well wishes are with him. May Allah get just uh, out of this uh, soon. I think he was doing a lot of work uh, there in the, in the areas of Lochistan and northern areas just to help the lady people and uh, uh, throughout this COVID uh, situation, I mean, he was helping the poor. He was doing a very good uh, uh, job instead of this. Uh, I think uh, well wishes with him to just get well soon. Uh, in terms of Naseem Shah, uh, everybody knows in a short period in international cricket, uh, he he has already proved himself that uh, he's not only quick, he got the control, he can swing the ball, he can reverse the ball, he got a very good bouncer. So, he is, he is not one-dimensional. He got everything, a very good action, everything a uh, quality fast bowler needs. So, uh, he can surprise good batsmen and uh, he's, he's, a, he's an asset for Pakistan team. Hopefully, uh, he'd stay fit, working very hard on his fitness also. Very young, but if he stays fit and uh, keep working hard like this, I think 
Heal and Mahesh is a big star for Pakistan in the future.